of the pandemic has cost all of us in so many ways, including social services who have lost fundraising opportunities. Bill Rhodes is the executive director of the Gathering Place Senior Citizen Center. And there's a telethon coming up to support the important work. Thank you for being with us, Bill. It's my pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. Well, this has been a hard couple of years for you guys. It sure is. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. <laughs> I think it, for all of us, we realize that, you know, those fundraising opportunities are really priceless to keep programs going. And let's talk about some of the programs you offer there. Sure. Um, you know, a lot of people, uh, some people may be aware and some people may not be aware, but we're Henderson County's Meals on Wheels provider. That is a homebound meal program for seniors age 60 and older. Uh, we take uh, hot meals to them a a every day. Um, we'll serve, we'll be on track to serve roughly 35,000 meals this year. Wow. Um, it, it's down from the peak of the pandemic, but it's still, our new level is still considerably more than what it was uh, about two years ago. So, you know, that's still, it's still pretty significant. And, you know, those seniors that are, that are homebound, they can't get out on their own to feed their own, uh, fix food for themselves anymore, lost the ability to, to do those things for self-care. It's a really important link for them. It really is. Meals on Wheels program is, is priceless. And of course, that takes funds to do that. And now you've decided to do something clever. Have a telethon <laughs> called Support a Senior. When's that going to be and how do we donate? Well, the event will be March the 10th, Thursday, March the 10th from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. We will be on Facebook Live using our Facebook channel. And we'll also be simulcast part of that on WSON 860 a.m., and uh, we will give people an opportunity to partner with us to be able to continue services that are offered at the gathering place. Um, we're asking for um, my vision. I, I have, a, have a large board of people that come in my office. I have a, a large dry erase board that I kind of write things on. And I've had this vision for a while. I've noticed other organizations and uh, uh, do things of this nature and I thought you know what it's worth a try because I know our community will respond and I would just want to give them opportunity to partner with us because you know we don't want we don't want our seniors to face food insecurities and transportation issues and things like that if we can help and so this will give our community an opportunity to reach out for uh, with us to, to help keep those programs going and vibrant for you you know for the future. And so all we do is, um, Audrey, can you pop that number back up there? Call this number and make a pledge. And I know you're looking for sustaining members, people who will pledge I mean, at like $8 a month or more to, yes. uh, to continue to support all the things you do. That's right. So, so what, we, what, what we have thought about, and I've, I've kind of thought through this, I'm asking for people that would annually contribute $100 a year and support, or we can break that down into eight dollars and thirty four cents a month and they could we can set that up automatic payment out of their credit card or through their checking account it'll it'll debit out and this way we can we can uh, um, establish a funding source that we can help and it'll continue uh, throughout the year not just at one specific time and so people as they come along and partner with us and it gives them an opportunity because I, I think to myself you know eight dollars and thirty four cents um, you know, to some people may be a lot, but to some people it may be, you know, for myself, it may be a lunch one, one day a month. Thank you, Bill. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the time to be able to talk about what we're doing. And, and if we're, there's always been kind of a tagline for the gathering place that it's been the hidden gem of Henderson County. And it's my goal to not let it be hidden anymore. I'd like to take that gym, clean it up, put it on a ring set for everyone to see. I love that. Thank you so much, Bill. Hey, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you.